Who was Eleanor Ostrom? Eleanor Ostrom was an incredibly important thinker, an economist, a social researcher who rewrote the book. Why can't communities take a proper part in the decisions that affect them? Why can't they play a role in the things that are really important to them? And even do it better? Her work has crucial lessons for us now. Ostrom shone a light on some of the most important policy questions for us today. How centralised should our politics be? How can we build resilience? How can we sustain and protect the environment? How can we shore up our democratic institutions and reconnect them with people? Ostrom's most well-known insight, based on what she saw in the real world, is that communities, under the right conditions, can come up with their own rules and systems and cooperate with each other without needing to divide stuff into private property or make deals with big corporations or get supervision and regulation from the state. And actually, in a lot of cases, when communities do this, they can do a better job of managing things. Resources, environments, assets. They can do a better job than either the state or the market. Ostrom was also a really committed Democrat. She thought politics and decision-making should be smaller, closer to people, so people can be citizens and participants rather than clients, customers or dependents. And she argued that the diversity of approaches that can emerge when things are more local and communities are more involved and autonomous, that's a really good thing. It means that we can try things in different places and at different scales. We can innovate and create and experiment. We can play to our particular context and strengths. And the result can be more legitimate, more meaningful and better suited, better adapted to the challenges that exist in each place. In New Locals, New Report, Think Big, Act Small, we delve into the lessons Ostrom has for us in the UK today and what we should do next. <laughs>